Hello everyone, this is Brother Gapi. In this video, I'll be discussing the Vertex Color submenu in Creative Flow. It contains three operators which are Set, Pick, and Select. Their main purpose is to make it easier to paint the mesh or meshes with Vertex Color. First, we have the Set operator. In the Redo panel, you can operate the color wheel to select the color you want and also control its brightness. The new layer name will seek out the text you have typed and if it does not find that vertex color group, will create a new one instead with that name. The use saved will give you the option to use existing vertex color groups in the mesh. If you use this, then the new layer text will not be used. Below you can find the different mix modes for your selected color and the existing one. We have replace, mix, add, and multiply. Setting the vertex color will also work for multiple meshes selected in edit mode. It will either use the new layer name or the one you've selected in the use saved list box for the vertex color group. Next we have the pick operator. This allows you to pick vertex color from any mesh in the scene. Once the operator is active and the mouse cursor changes to an eyedropper icon, you can just click on the surface of any mesh with an active vertex color group to copy that face's vertex color to the ones you have selected. Picking colors like this also works for multiple meshes selected. The pick operator, however, will not work if the mesh or meshes selected have no active vertex color group. First, you have to create one using the set operator. Just set any color, then pick the color you want after. Finally, we have the select operator. This allows you to select faces in the mesh that share the same vertex color as the active face selected. This also works with multiple meshes selected. You can use this to quickly replace any color or just select certain faces for editing. Using vertex color as a base diffuse is faster with hard surface models than painting texture images. You can just layer your grunge effects on top of this and you have a complete shader in no time. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, be sure to use the comments section or the links in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.